Peace be upon you. This is history. Be with us till the end. Mansa Musa of Mali Mansa Musa was the ruler of Kingdom of Mali from 1312 CE to 1337 CE. During his reign, Mali was one of the richest kingdoms of Africa and Mansa Musa was among the richest individuals in the world. The ancient kingdom of Mali spread across parts of modern-day Mali, Senegal, the Gambia, Guinea, Niger, Nigeria, Chad, Mauritania, Burkina Faso. Mansa Musa developed cities like Timbuktu and Gao into important cultural centers. He also brought architects from the Middle East and across Africa to design new buildings for his cities. Mansa Musa turned the Kingdom of Mali into a sophisticated center of learning in the Islamic world. Mansa Musa came to power in 1312 CE after the previous king Abu Bakr II disappeared at the sea. Mansa Abu Bakr II had departed on a large fleet of ships to explore the Atlantic Ocean and never returned. Mansa Musa inherited a kingdom that was already wealthy, but his works in expanding trade made Mali the wealthiest kingdom in Africa. His riches came from mining, significant salt and good deposits in the Mali Kingdom. Elephant ivory was another source of wealth. When Mansa Musa went on pilgrimage or Hajj to Mecca in 1324 CE, his journeys through Egypt caused quite a stir. The Kingdom of Mali was relatively unknown outside of West Africa until the, this event. Arab writers from the time said that he traveled with an entourage of tens of thousands of people and dozens of camels, each carrying 136 kilograms or 300 pounds of gold. While in Cairo, Mansa Musa met with the Sultan of Egypt and his caravan spent and gave away so much gold that the overall value of gold decreased in Egypt in the next 12 years. Stories of his fabulous wealth even reached Europe. The, Cat the Catalan at last created in, created in a 1375 CE by Spanish cartographers shows West Africa dominated by the uh, depiction of Mansa Musa sitting on the throne, holding a nugget of gold in one hand and golden staff in the other. After the publication of Atlas, Mansa Musa became cemented in the global imagination as a figure of stupendous wealth. After his return from Mecca, Mansa Musa began to revitalize cities in his kingdom. He built mosques and large public buildings in cities like Gao and most famously Timbuktu. Timbuktu became a major Islamic university center during the 14th century due to Mansa Musa's developments. Mansa Musa brought architects and scholars from across the Islamic world 
into his kingdom and the repetition of the Mali kingdom grew. The kingdom of Mali reached its greatest extent around the same time. A burst-bustling wealthy kingdom thanks to Mansa Musa's expansion and administration. Mansa Musa died in 1337 and was succeeded by his sons. His skillful administration left his empire well off at the time of his death. But eventually, the empire fell apart. Well, after his death, Mansa Musa remained ingrained in the imagination of the world as a symbol of fabulous wealth. However, his riches are only one part of his legacy. He is also remembered for his Islamic faith, promotion of scholarship, and patronage of culture in Mali. This was a short history of Mansa Musa. Thanks for watching. Until we meet next time with another historical video. Peace be upon you.